Hello, Berkshire Hathaway Home Services sales executives for our video message of the week. All right, we're going to be finalizing our series on enhancing and protecting our business. And today's video message is entitled, Stop Prospecting and Cold Calling. That's right, you heard it here. Stop prospecting and cold calling. Well, what is he talking about? Well, this is what I'm talking about. You know, one aspect that I know is very powerful and it affects all of us is our inner voice. What we say to ourselves because keep in mind that everything you say to yourself is building your beliefs which affects your behaviors. Okay, so it's very, very powerful. So what am I talking about today? Well, today's message is all about your inner voice. So one, we're going to stop talking about prospecting. And what we really are talking about is voice to voice. You know, I love when I hear sales executives saying, well, I don't prospect that way, that's not for me. You know what, that's just not true. See, what you're really saying is you have different ways that you do the activity voice to voice. and you may do it less or more than others. That's fine, but let's be clear. And when you talk to yourself, yes, you wanna get rid of the word prospecting, go for it. But you have to have voice-to-voice -voice activities going on. That's when you talk to people. I love it when someone also tells me they don't use the phone. Of course you use the phone, okay? Well, maybe your, your clients like texting or email, but you're also communicating over the phone. That's it, voice to voice, ultimately prospecting is just communicating to people, it's a name. So let's not get tied down by that name, let's really focus on more and more opportunities to do voice to voice, which is what you're already doing. Then you just need to ask yourself, how often do I want to and how consistently do I want my voice to voice activities be? Second, I said stop cold calling. Well, first of all, as many of you already know, we don't advise cold calling. We don't teach cold calling. What we teach is that warm calling. Well, what is the difference? And there is a big difference, is when you communicate voice to voice in warm calling, you always have something to talk about. You're never contacting an area or a group of individuals without something to discuss. You just had a listing sold happen. You just had a sale happen. The company, not even yours, the company had a listing sold or a sale happen, okay? Or you just sold something, you were on the selling side. Whatever the reason is, you've got an open house scheduled in the area. Not really worried about what the reason is, but you always have a reason to call. That's the difference, okay? I don't advise, and nor does Rick advise cold calling. It's all about warm calling. It's all about increasing that connection so when you connect with that person voice to voice, you're talking about a specific purpose. And last, but certainly not least, be a follow-up master. See, that's really where the crux is, where all this starts to fall apart is, you know what, you're all voicing to voicing people constantly, and it doesn't mean that it's always scheduled. You might be out with friends and you're creating voice to voice because real estate comes up. But here's the kicker. It's that follow-up piece that's so key. I want you to start thinking about it. Are you a follow-up master? And if you need help with a system, a long follow-up, go to leadership and we'll help you. But the kicker is, is once you've done that voice-to-voice -voice and you've had your purpose to connect with them, well, the key with this is, is you got a follow-up. Sometimes it's longer than others. Sometimes it's shorter because there's more motivation and they need you now. Either way, follow-up will be the key to your success. Look, if you want to enhance and protect your business, we've got to talk to people. However you're going to do that, you've got to connect, all right, and you want to be voice-to-voice -voice with everyone that you can about what you do and how you can help them. I promise you, that will enhance and protect your business. You have a great week, and we'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.